In this lab, we will demonstrate how to integrate Apache NiFi with Amazon S3. In real-world data engineering projects, NiFi is often used to move data between multiple external systems, such as databases, cloud storage, and APIs. Here, we will show how to write data from NiFi to an S3 bucket. Before starting, make sure you have an existing S3 bucket and an AWS user with access key and secret key credentials. Explaining AWS setup is beyond the scope of this course, but if you're interested, you can check our top-rated AWS data engineering course for a detailed walkthrough. Also, check out our top-rated Apache NiFi course on Udemy. All the links are in the video description. Just like we wrote data to our local machine earlier, using the generate flow file and replace text processors, we will now write data to Amazon S3. First, we will create a put S3 object processor. We will also add a log attribute processor to handle the failure scenario, and we'll show you how to troubleshoot any issues that occur. We will auto-terminate the success relationship. Next, we will configure the put S3 object processor by providing the AWS bucket name and credentials. Just follow the steps shown here. We are intentionally keeping the bucket name incorrect to demonstrate error scenarios and how you can troubleshoot them. The AWS Credentials Provider Controller Service is where you store your access key and secret key. We will delete the existing one and create a new service from scratch. Set the access key and secret key as shown here. Now we will start the generate flow file processor and wait for some files to queue up. The steps are similar to what we did earlier. Files are now waiting in the queue. Next, we will start the put S3 object processor and check if the files are getting stored in the S3 bucket. We notice that the failure scenario is being triggered Let's take ChatGPT's help to troubleshoot the problem. This is the new way of problem solving in the generative AI era. You can simply tail the log file, copy the error message, and paste it in ChatGPT's window to understand what went wrong. In our case, there were two known issues. The bucket name had surrounding curly braces and the AWS region was not set. We will correct these and rerun the flow. Since our bucket is located in the U.S. East, North Virginia region, also known as U.S. East 1, 
we will specify that region in the PUTS3 object processor configuration. We will start the process now, and this time we should see the files getting successfully uploaded to our AWS S3 bucket. This demonstrates how easily you can connect Apache NiFi with AWS S3 for data movement and storage. You can also take ChatGPT's help to connect NiFi with other AWS services such as DynamoDB or relational data stores. In real-world data engineering projects, you can ask ChatGPT to suggest different architectures, connectors, and best practices for integrating NiFi with cloud systems and automating end-to-end -end pipelines. Thanks for watching. Check out some of our top-rated courses on Udemy. Links are in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative videos on data engineering and AI.